So the Blender add-on for Character Creator 4 and iClone 8 has had a massive update. Let's go through it. So start off by downloading the free add-on, link in the description, click on source code, let it download, jump to Blender, and into Blender, edit, <laughs> preferences, install, find where you downloaded the file, probably went into your downloads, double click on the file, there she is, make sure there is a tick next to it, we're not going to look at anything in here, but also, if you haven't already, just type in rig and make sure that we've got Rigify enabled as well, because that's kind of like one of the massive cool new feature thingy my bobs. So pressing N to bring up the side panel, let's go import a character. I've got my testing one, female one demo, in you come sunshine, import. And she came in pretty quick. Let's just go into material mode and have a squeeze of what she looks like. No lighting, however, not a problem. Down the bottom here, we've got scene tools so we can set up the three point lighting on it or however we want to do it. Let's just go CC3, why not? And she's looking, oh my goodness. Let me just edit her top. And we can see that the materials are very much set up already and it is just a beautiful looking character. And you know what? I've done squat. However, we want to make our lives even more easier. So over here under rigging and animation, We've enabled Rigify add-on, so now we can quickly go Rigify. Yeah. Funny enough, I didn't actually have the rig selected, but it worked. That's... It's fully sick. And now, obviously, we can go and go into pose mode, and then we've got all our controls. You know, we've got the... I think that's IK or FK, whatever that is. Um, and then we've got the individual hands that we can move around nope there we go oh that one's still ik however if we come over into i believe item yeah there we go and then we can just start kind of moving around and now we no longer have access to the ik and now we have to control it with the fks so that's kind of cool obviously here we can turn off all the layers mm -hmm. there we go so now we're not going to get confused with what rig we're using uh what options we're using so that's cool now as well, we've also got the options with the face. Obviously we can just start moving stuff around. <laughs> this is why I don't do <laughs> uh, Just quickly fix up the materials there. So, yeah, this add-on's pretty, um, yep. Pretty good to use. Now the other thing is what we can do is import an animation. Please tell me I've got a character with animation on it. So, if I go import animations, um, trench animation mail, because I just exported this from iClone, so I know there is a little bit of um, animation. There we go. Now, if I select this character, select trench animation mail, this is the animation we want to go to. Um, let's now go preview retarget. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is like, it's almost like Titanic. No, Dancing with the Wolves? No. What's the, the pottery one? You know, the one where they're doing the, but you can kind of see how now we've brought across that animation. Bake retarget. So now we're going to retarget that animation completely. Bam, bam, let's get rid of you, and I'm hoping that this lady now moves around. I mean... So, as you can see, this Blender add-on is quite simple to use. Oh. 